We just give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father God, what it is you have for us to receive in this day, Father God. Let us put aside all things that have taken place in this day. Father God, all things, Lord God, all mishaps, all angers, all hurts, all pains, Father God, all worries, all stresses, Father God, and let us focus upon you. Let us focus upon you, God, your goodness, your peace, your joy, your love, Father God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, as you take our hand, Father God, and, and lead us, Father God, hallelujah, we will follow, Father God, hallelujah, in you is all things, all things, Father God, hallelujah, Lord God, help us, Father God, not to uh, lead, Father God, but follow you, oh, God, help us, Father God, not to get so uh, comfortable, Father God, hallelujah, in the things of God that we forget, Hallelujah about you. In the name of Jesus, Father God, you are tired of playing. Hallelujah. You're tired of us playing. Father God, church. Father God, you're tired of us playing with your emotions. Yes, Lord. You're tired, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Of us saying one thing and doing another. Yes, Jesus. Oh, God. Thank we you, thank Lord you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father God, for this hour that we Jesus. are in where we have the ability, Father God, to come clean, to, to, to make things right, Father God. Hallelujah. To examine ourselves, Father God. To draw closer to you. To come out of religion and to come into the kingdom. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we worship you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, O oh God. Yes, Jesus. Let it be done and let it be so. In Jesus' name, amen. amen and amen. Glory be to God. I want to welcome everyone and thank everyone, hallelujah, for um, attending, hallelujah, MBKI's Kingdom Assembly Service. We are not a church, as I always say, we're a movement. Amen. Hallelujah. We're not an organization, we're an organism. Hallelujah. Organizations are for money organisms just go in and bathe and take over stuff. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So welcome. Welcome y'all that are on Facebook that are tuning in. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. be to God. We welcome you. We welcome you. Hallelujah. Tonight we're going to be uh, coming out of the book of Isaiah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Isaiah 26 uh, verse 19 and 21. Isaiah 26 19 and and 21, before we go any further, everybody here, you have your notebooks, you have your your, 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 your pen, you have your, your Bible, hallelujah. Those on Facebook, I'm gonna give you a couple minutes, go get yourself a notepad, go get yourself a pen, hallelujah, get your Bible, and let's get ready to study, amen? Get ready to eat some of this word. The Bible says, study the word to show thyself approved. So it makes no sense, hallelujah, coming on or coming in, Hallelujah, just expected to hear from me. No, write, take notes, amen, and then go home and study those notes and make sure that the man of God is giving you sound doctrine, not just a bunch of flesh, amen. This is what's going on today. We're giving too much flesh out there. People are not uh, receiving what it is that they need to receive for their spirits to grow, amen, for their spirits to grow. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Isaiah 26. Verse 19, hallelujah, and 21. Read it, read. And it reads, For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Now, that's our opening verse. I, I want to touch on a couple of things. You know, we, we're dealing with what they call a pandemic. We've been dealing with this since uh, March, March, uh, I think it was 20th or somewhere around there. I have some numbers here pertaining to the King County area, just King County. We're not talking about Washington State, just King County, okay? So the numbers for King County is there's over 
thousand confirmed cases of what they call COVID-19, okay? Now, again, this is just the King County, one county of Washington State. Hospitalized, there's over 2,061 hospitalized individuals with this COVID-19, okay? And about 665 deaths have taken place from this COVID-19. Now, when I, when I, when the beginning of this year, I remember going into the restroom and uh, telling my wife that this is going to be our year, 2020. Amen. You know how you do that every beginning of every year. You just claim this is my year, yeah. you know, and you claim it, right? And so, you know, I went back into the living room and I sat down. The Spirit of the Lord said, 2020 vision in 2020. He said, you will see clear. He said, there will be exposure. He said, things will be different. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So I'm, I'm like, amen. You know, that's a good word. You know, hey, because it's our year. Amen. Things going to be different. That means more money. <laughs> that's the first thing we think. You know, we we in the material. We're not thinking, you know, hallelujah. Lord, did I know that God was saddened in the beginning of the year 2020. He's saddened, tired. Kind of push and prime. You know how 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 the praise and worship team they they sit and they they gotta prime you up to get you ready for the word. Mm. You know God's pumping and priming us to, yes. to get us ready to go home, but we ain't moving. Hallelujah, Amen. Right. We ain't moving. Glory to God. Amen. My God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So you know He said, okay, all right. So He went ahead and you know Satan. Oh, He has to ask permission for whatever He does. So he goes up, you know, and this, this, I'm just not that, I don't know if this happened, but we'll find out when I go up and I have a talk with God about, about this year when he takes me home. <laughs> but uh, Satan said, you know, I, I want to throw this pandemic out here and, you know, kill some folks and do some things, you know. And he said, well, go on, these people are all jacked up and sideways anyway, so we, we, go ahead, you know, do. but just don't kill all of them. Not my soldiers. Not those that worship me and love me. Not those believers. Maybe some of the Christians, but not the believers. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. So we got this, this pandemic. Shut us down. Never in, 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 never has the world seen anything like this. Just everything shut down. And at this time, the Spirit of the Lord had spoken. He said, uh, go into thy chamber. Mm. And stay for a while. Jesus, thank you. Hallelujah. Just stay for a while. No, first he said, close the door behind thee and stay for a while. Go ahead and read, read that, read that uh, verse. I think it's uh, 26 and 20. I think it's yeah, 26 and 20. Isaiah. Mm -hmm. 26. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it right here. I got it right here. Okay. It says, Come, my people. Now you see, he didn't call everybody. He said, My people. Right. Okay. Enter thou into thy chamber and shut thy door about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Mm -hmm. now, I don't want to go too much into this because I go, I, I, I miss a whole bunch of stuff in my word, but I, I want you to understand this is what he spoke to me. And then he took me to uh, Genesis, and he said, uh, where, where, where Moses, uh, they, they, they did the sacrifice, and he said, take the blood and put it around the doorpost. And then he said, again, go in and stay for a while. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting here like, okay. Okay, I get it. You know, we, got, we stuck in here like Chuck. And, and I see, okay, so there's the symbolism. And then he says, but I want my people to evaluate themselves. Amen. To Hallelujah. look within themselves. Yes. And look at the sin and repent and turn back to me. Yes. Draw near to me and I will draw near to them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is what he spoke to me in March. Glory to God. 
And for those of y'all that's following me on Facebook, you've seen I was putting 2020 vision in 2020 on everything. Yes. Because this was what God spoke to me, and I'm sharing it with y'all. Mm -hmm. Letting you know that God is saying to look within yourself, pray, repent. But what I would see is I would see a bunch of food and people talking about how bored they were, and I can't wait until I can go to the nail shop and go here and go there. No one was catching what God was saying. Yes. Come on. No one was catching what God was saying. Come on, Apostle. Listen, listen, listen. Glory we are, to God. We, we, we're so distracted. Come on here. Life. Come on, Apostle. If we wake up, yes, God. we go to work. Glory on the way to work, we got to stop by Starbucks, get that coffee. Yes, Jesus. Right? We're dealing with traffic, so we're all jacked up and upset because traffic, we're late now. We're at work, we're late. Now we got to deal with the person on the other side of the cubicle. Uh oh. You know, I mean, oh, so we got all these feelings and emotions going, and it, we, ain't, we ain't been up for three hours. Yes. This is just the beginning of the day. Yes. Amen. 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 Now, here comes lunch. You know, you, you stand in line for lunch, somebody steps on your toe. Oh, I mean, yeah, everything's that, you know, and, and then we leave, we got to make it to the gym, got to exercise, you know, got to exercise. Yes. You know, all this stuff. Glory to God. You know what I mean? We got to okay, movie theater, all the stuff we like to do. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's all the stuff we like to do. But we don't make time for God. Come on. We don't make time to evaluate ourselves. Glory to God. Come you on, see, I used to say this. I say, the jail is a, a, a spiritual hospital. Uh -huh. Because, see, you run and gun, you run and gun, and you run in the streets to where you can't even hear God. And you don't know you're about to run into something and God allow the police to pick you up and put you in jail. Yes. And the next thing you know, you're sitting in jail in that little old cell, just you and God. Uh huh. You and God. Come on, Apostle. Right? Yes. Amen. Amen. And then when God begin to speak to you, you know what? You can't run. Right. You can't run. Because if you run out, you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. Right? Amen. Amen. So you got to receive it. And it hurts. You see, this is why a lot of people don't like being alone because they don't want to look at themselves. Yes, Lord. This is this, this, this is why this is why y'all go home and you turn the television on. Yes, teach us. Come on. You, you go to bed, you turn the TV up. Yes, talk you to don't us. want to hear the you don't want to hear what's going on in your head. Yes. And what's going on in your oh my God! And then you got those that want to talk about folks. Uh oh. Oh, I ain't going to go there. Yeah, amen, you know, They want to talk about folks. Man, no, amen, they want to talk about folks. Come on, Father. Glory to God. Because they don't want to talk to themselves yes. about themselves to try to correct themselves. Yes. Amen. amen. Well, I would rather look at them and talk about them instead of look at me and try to figure me out. Mm. Amen. 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 How, yeah, here go. So, go, go. Listen, how is it the Bible says love God with everything you have. Uh -huh. First commandment. Yes, Lord. Love them. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Second commandment. Love your neighbor. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, do you know if we did them two, the other ones you ain't got to worry about? Come on here. Teach us. You ain't got to worry about it. Glory to God. So why do we have such a hard time loving someone else? I'll tell you why. Because we have a hard time even loving ourselves. Yes. How can you love someone else if you don't even love yourself? Yes, help us, Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, my God. We Come walk on. around talking about, I love you. Glory to God. I love you. No, I lust after you. Uh-oh. And all I want is what's between your legs. Uh-oh. And that's what, it, I mean, if we were really real with one another. Uh-huh. You see? Glory see, to these God. are the things that God is tired of. Right. Because it's called sin. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's sin. Hallelujah. It's sin. And, 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 and the thing of it is, it comes from a prideful place. Ah. A place where you kick God out and you run in the show. Yes, Jesus. Deliver because us, God. if God was in it, the conviction of the Holy Spirit you, would make you say, oh, God, you know, I was just using you for sex. I'm sorry. I, please forgive me. I, I, I love you as a, as a woman a of God. Come on here. You know, but we don't do that. Hallelujah. That, that's not what we do. Glory to God. We figure, okay, well, we want to the next. So get over it. Jesus. You know, or he'll get over it. Help us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that, that, that sounds like the devil, don't it? Mm -hmm. 
you sitting there because he done got you trapped thinking one thing and all of a sudden he, he his true colors come saying, yeah, it's me. Uh -oh. And you sitting there all beat up and he's like, oh, you'll get over it. Jesus. <laughs> Until the next time I come back in. Hey, Amen. Mind, Listen, man. God is tired, man. He's yes, tired. He's hard there, I, was, I was coming up with this message here and, and uh, the Spirit of the Lord had spoken to me. Mm -hmm. Lord, and I'm going to share with you what he said. Thank you, Jesus. I, it, 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 I had to stop for a minute. I had to stop. God said, I'm saddened, my children, mm -hmm. for Thank you, they Jesus. aren't listening to me. They are caught up in self, mm -hmm. power, riches, and fear. And fear. Glory the Bible God. says to fear God. The Bible. Come on here. Okay. Glory but we don't God. fear God. We fear man. Oh, help us hold the And then the other thing we fear is losing what it is we have and not getting what it is we want. Ooh, you see? God. Mm. So if your boss tells you, uh, before you go home, uh, can you come to my office? First thing you think about is, I'm fired. I know. And then you're thinking of all the little corners you done cut, because you know how we cut corners at work. Come on, you know, you're possible. supposed to do it like this and you do it like that yes. just to save some time yes. so you can go to the computer and get on Facebook uh -oh. and, you know, and do some things you ain't supposed <laughs> to be doing. So you think about all this stuff. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. And then when you get into the office, you shiver. You already done plan on going to the unemployment office at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yes, I'm going to some food stamps. Uh, I think my friend said that they hired at his job. You, you, you got it all planned out. Come on here. But where was God in that? Hallelujah. Where's your faith? Jesus. So you go in. The boss says, you've done such a fabulous job. We're going to give you a raise. Mm. For the last three hours, you don't pull your hair out. Mm -hmm. But God. Because of fear. Mm -hmm. My Lord. God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love. A sound mind. And of sound mind. Glory to God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, people. Why are we using the things that God has given us? Glory to God. It, it makes no sense. We walk around all stressed out, back all out of shape, neck hurt, shoulders all beat up from stress. Glory to God. And what is stress? In the name of Jesus. Worry. Yes. And what is worry? Fear. Thank so if God Jesus. didn't give you a spirit of fear, why are you moving in it? Thank you, Lord Jesus. It makes no sense. None at all. God loves us. Listen, people. God loves us. Mm -hmm. A parent that sees their child doing the same thing, having the same results, and, and being beat down. Mm. Look, how would you feel if you were a father and you seen your daughter held by two girls uh -oh. and some man just soccer over and over, soccer. I mean, that would hurt me. Every time she'd get hit, it would, oh, you know what I mean? That's how God feels. Same with a man. Just get beat up. And, and, and there's nothing that you as a father can do. Jesus. I mean, that's, that's, that's how God feels. Help us, Holy Ghost. He's given us the power. He's given us power. Yes. We don't use it. We just get beat up. And we have power to overthrow Overtake, uprip, de demolish, put them under our feet, smash them, but we just sit there and get beat up. Mm. Come on, man. It's time. It's time. It's time, it's Apostle. Time. It's time. It's time. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read verse, uh, verse uh, 9 again, uh, Prophet uh, 26, verse nine, please, uh, 19. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it reads, is it 26 and Amen. 19? For you on Facebook, again, that's Isaiah 26 and verse 19. Hallelujah. Thy dead men shall live together with my dead body, shall they arise, awake and sing. Yes. Yea, yea, that dwell in dust, for thy dew is as the dew of herbs. And the earth shall cast out the dead. Mm -hmm. 26 and 20. Come, my people, enter thou 
Just four, just 19. Okay. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are being called to rise mm -hmm. from the dead to life. The dead to life. The Bible says that sin is death. Yes. Right? And so we've gotten so familiar, so comfortable in sin that we don't realize that we're spiritually dead and we think that we live. Yes. We think that we're spiritually Glory living, God. but God. we're spiritually dead. Have mercy, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. How do I know this? Do you see any power in the churches? Jesus. Do you see any real Holy Ghost power uh -oh. moving and operating in the churches? Uh-oh. No, we don't see it. We don't see blind eyes open. We don't see uh, the dead. Race. We, you know, we, we, we. <laughs> come on here. We see a bunch of prophet lying. Come on here. The lack of faith. You know, come on now. Glory you know, we, 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 we have a lot of knowledge, but we don't have no power. Come on here. A lot of knowledge, but no power. Amen. And 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 and, and if we're not moving in power, what's the use? Yes. What's the use? Because there's nothing natural that's going to do anything. What's going to do something is supernatural, and it comes from God. Yes. So if His power isn't on the scene, then what's the use? Yes. Yes. Amen. We just we just just here. A lot of information, no revelation. Come on here. There it is. A lot of information. No revelation. No revelation. No change. Glory to God. Yeah. No change. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. God says, leave those dead things. Those dead things. Those, those dead people. Those dead places. Mm. And those dead things. Help us, Apostle. Yes, those God. Those dead Thank you, people. Jesus. Yes. Those this dead places. This is good now. And those dead Yes, Jesus. My dad used to tell me, if you want to be stupid, hang around stupid folks. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Facts. Amen. Hallelujah. Why are you hanging around stupid folks? You want to be stupid? Yeah. Why are you hanging around foolish folks? You want to be a fool? Mm. I, I, just because a person say that they're a Christian, I mean, what, 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 are you discerning the spirit and knowing that it is of God? Come on, know the labor Are you just going by what you hear, Jesus. what a person says? Glory to God. Amen. Now you go by some what somebody said, you 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 bound for hell. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. Study the word to show thyself approved. Yes. Amen. Amen. It, it, it's, 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 it, today we're not in a time where we can just go to church. Forget about forget about reading the Bible from Monday to Saturday, but just go to church and the man of God will give us the truth we need to to, to live life according to the will of God. Amen. We must study the word because there's false prophets. There's, there's, there's the spirit of religion is in 85 to 90 percent of the churches. Yes. And yes, I said that. Yes. 85 to 90 percent. Yes, that spirit is a spirit that is so hard to detect Come because on, it has the zeal for Christ, yes. but it has no power. Come on, apostle. Amen. Amen. How many churches do you see today that are also uh, that are giving altar calls or are are, are are having those that are sick? With disease and and COVID and AIDS right. come up and you see healing take place. Right. God said He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Forever. Amen. So uh, let me see. I think in Matthew we talked about some healing. Then uh, John and, and and Luke and and in the book of Acts and yes. all the books of the apostles that they walked and they healed folks. And I think it was Saul. He even his shadow was here healing people. I mean, so what's the problem now? If he's the same God, what is the problem now? Why aren't these things taking place now? Yes. Hallelujah. Glory no to God. Power. No power. No power. Glory to no God. No power. Thank you, Jesus. And this is sad in God because the Bible says that I, uh, in the end times, let's say I will pour out my spirit amongst all men. Mm -hmm. All men. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. So God is not a God where he shall lie. So if he ain't lying, that means his power is on the earth. That's right. Now that's true because Christ said, repent mm -hmm. for the kingdom of God, it's which is the power of God, yes. is at hand. Uh -huh. So it's here. But we ain't doing that with it. That's right. Why is that? Why are we playing games? I mean, if we're gonna if 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 if, if we're gonna call ourselves a, a ministry, yes. To be a ministry, if you want to be a business, be a business. But don't try to mix a business with a ministry.
ministry and call it a ministry when it's really a business. Come on, that's good now. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because there is no power, right. no Holy Ghost power in a business. No relationship. Come on here. There's no power. That's Jesus. Right. This is good, Apostle. This is good. Amen. Amen. Glory We're talking about resurrection, people. We need to be resurrected. Mm, thank you, Jesus. I'm not talking about having a revival. I'm talking about being resurrected. You know, you can be resurrected at your own house by your own self. You don't need you, you don't you don't you don't you don't need no revival. You don't need to get in the hundred dollar line, the fifty dollar line. You ain't got to get all dressed up and go twenty miles to see the the the, the, the latest prophet that's on the scene. You ain't got to do all that. Right. The Bible says the Bible. Go into thy chambers. Uh -huh. Close the door and stay for a while. Yes. Come and sit with me. Yes. Talk to me. Yes, Let me show you yourself. So you can repent. Uh -huh. So you can let go and let me take the wheel. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. Jesus said, Come to me. For my, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So if this be the case, why aren't we doing this? I mean, do do ah, hmm. maybe we don't like. Maybe we like to worry. We, we like to stress. Yes. Maybe we want to die early. We like high, high blood pressure. Do we like these things? It got to be because we're doing it. Yes. And I'm not. I'm not saying. I mean, I, 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 I'm included. I'm included. I'm not. Hey, man. Let me tell you. The last two uh, uh, messages that I've given, I've been. I, boy, I'm telling you, I had to repent. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I had to repent. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. We're talking about resurrection. We need to be resurrected. Yes, God. Amen. Amen. Resurrected. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And the, the, the cold thing about it is this. We, we, we want to go to heaven. We want to live an eternal life with Christ, but we don't want to do what it takes to get there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't want to do it. That's it, Apostle. We don't, we don't want to do it. Most folks don't even want to hear the truth. Right. They just they rather be lied to so they can feel good. Right. I'm sorry, I'm not that guy. Come on, if you're apostle. looking for somebody to lie to you, please turn off your Facebook. Get off the live because I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. I will not do that. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I I, I I I don't think that many people are not taking the time that we're in mm -hmm. seriously. Right. We we're, we're not really taking the time we're in seriously. I mean, we we, we are in. Uh, uh, we're not in the beginning of sorrows. We are in the middle or close to the end of the time of sorrows. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And see, God has speeded things up. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He speeded things up for our sake because he loves us. Mm -hmm. Do you see how fast days go by now? Yes. Years go by. Mm -hmm. You see, you know. Glory to you know, my spiritual father, he was talking the other day, and he said, he said, you know, you want to know how dumb a sheep is? You wanna know how dumb sheep are? A, a sheep would get something stuck in between his teeth. Uh -huh. And it will go crazy and it will not eat until it gets this. It will kill itself trying to get something out of between his teeth. Wow. My Lord. The rock out of his jaw. Mm -hmm. From from grazing, you know, a rock caught in between the teeth and his jaw. And he will kill himself trying to get this thing out of his mouth. He won't think about eating. He'll just kill himself. Trying to, that's pretty stupid. Isn't it? Teach us, yeah. Apostle. Come on here. But we do the same thing. Yes. As sheep. Yes. I, I think I think Christ named us right. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. In Amen. his analogies. Ouch. <laughs> Amen. He is a sheep. Yes. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory to we God. got all this power. 
and we just getting our butts kicked. Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's that's that sound like a sheep. Yep. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you, Lord God. God has sent his ambassadors on the earth to tell you to open your eyes Thank you, and Jesus. get out the box Thank you, Jesus. your mind is in. Yes, Lord God. Out of the box that your God, mind is in. Let me ask you a question. You know, we talk about the box, you know. Yes. Uh, who, who, who created the box? Have you ever thought about that? Mm. Who, who created the box? We did. Matter of fact, on. who put us in the box? That was created. We did. The choice. Come on here. There you go. Our time to be out. Glory to See, God. The box is, is, is a place of brainwash. Come on here. Come on, Apostle. Where everybody's in the box. Mm -hmm. yep. You see? Because when everybody's in the box, you know where everybody's at. You know what everybody's doing. Uh -huh. Because they all in the box. And you just look and see what they're doing. Yes. You see? But we need to come out of the box. Mm. Come out of the norm. See, that's why the people of God are peculiar people. They're different. They don't fit in boxes. It don't matter what size the box is, they just don't fit. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. And this is why the world don't like us. Amen. Because we don't fit. We don't, we don't, we don't try to fit in. Thank we don't try Jesus. to fit out. We don't try to figure. We don't, we just are godly folks. Right. We do things the way God sees them. We don't call ourselves Christians. We call ourselves believers. Why? Because we believe the word yes. and we live by the word. In the name of Jesus. Okay? That, that's just my little jingle, y'all. Uh, Christians, I believe, talk about the word mm -hmm. and live the way they want to live. I'm sorry. That's just it, the word Christians has a pretty bad stigma. And that's the stigma. Mm -hmm. You talk one thing and you do another. Yes. That's the stigma we have. Yes, Jesus. You see? One of the reasons why I say we're not a church is because church has a bad stigma. Yep. It's all about the money. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. We're not about your money. I don't care about your money. I care about your soul. Oh, yeah. Amen? Thank we're you, a Jesus. movement. We're not an organization. We're yes. an organism. Amen? Amen? Glory be to God. Uh, Thank you, Lord. So, again, a dead thing. A dead thing. There's many people that are very anointed. Mm -hmm. They're called to ministry. Thank you, Jesus. But they're sitting in a dead thing. Jesus, help you, Lord. They're sitting in a dead thing. Help us, God. Glory. And it's not giving them anything. It says here in verse 19, thy dead man shall live. Mm -hmm. Shall is a promise. Come on here. God is calling you out of the dead thing. Thank you, Jesus. And all those dead people that you hang out with. Talks about that in uh, 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 Psalms. Is it Psalms in the book of uh, Proverbs? Proverbs 1, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, about the counsel you keep, the people you hang out with. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's really away from those. Amen. It goes on to say here, it says, uh, Thy dead men shall live together with my dead body, so they arise, <laughs> awake, and sing. Glory to God. Ye that dwell in dust, for thy dew mm -hmm. is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Yes. Dry dirt cannot produce anything. The dew from the morning, the, the moisture, has the ability of moistening up that dry dirt mm -hmm. to where something can begin to grow because the dirt is loosened up. Now, too much water would make mud. Mm -hmm. Teach us. Come on here. Okay. That's good so, now. So, so we, we, need, we, need, we need, you know, a, a little water, a little water, a little water, and we get things to grow up. That's right. God's glory is due, his, his rain, hallelujah, uh, is falling, but the individuals are catching it. They're not sitting under, they have their umbrellas up so they don't get wet. Come on. They want to stay dry. Jesus, help your people, God. They want to stay dry. 
Help us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Mm -hmm. Verse 20. You want to read that, reader? Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Isaiah 26, verse 20. Glory to God. Come, my people, enter thou into the chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it is, as as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. Amen. 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 As I as I stated, when this pandemic started. God gave me this verse. And he was saying that we are so distracted by everything, mm -hmm. even the church. If the church was in order, I truly believe God would not have closed the church down. Jesus. But it as well is so out of order. Mm -hmm. if, if you take a straight line and, and you take and start another line just a centimeter off. Within three years, you'll be way off. You see, this is where, as leaders, we must meditate and go before God to make sure that we haven't fallen a centimeter or two to the left or to the right. Because in time, without an inventory of self and the vision that God had given to you, we can find ourselves way off in left field, mm. nowhere near the vision God had given to start the ministry. Amen. Amen. So for this, what he did is he shut the churches. Mm. Okay. So everyone had nowhere to go. They had to stay at home. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to go and fast and pray. Mm -hmm. Fast and pray. Because yeah, some of us are dealing with some some pretty some some pretty rough demons. Uh oh. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, you got leaders sleeping with the sheep. That's a, you know, and Good you night. got sheep sleeping with the with, with the. With yes. all the I mean, it's it's bad. It's bad. Good night. It's bad. That's good now. So so we need to fast because mm -hmm. some some only come out by fasting and praying. Yes. Amen. These days. Amen. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. But we did not do that. We didn't do that. No, no, Thank no, you, no. Jesus. No, we, 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 we went on Facebook and got us a cash app account and still tried to collect that money. <laughs> still. She still tried to collect that money. Mm -hmm. It's all about the dollar. Still broke. You know I mean? Organization. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Help God. Us God. Watch ye therefore and pray as well. Mm -hmm. Luke 26. Luke. Luke. Luke 20, uh, chapter 21, 36. Somebody read that for me real quick. We're talking right now, we're talking about preservation. Because we went through being revived. Yes. Okay, so now we're alive. But now we must be preserved so we don't die again. Amen. Mm -hmm. So what how do we what do we do to, to, to stay preserved to where we don't die again? Amen. Amen. Twenty-one. Luke twenty-one. Amen. And verse thirty-six. And verse thirty-six. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember my grandmother used to make that plum preserved jelly, and she would take it, mix it all up, put it in a jar, and put the top on, and stick it up there for, for six to nine months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, preserved. Amen. You know, nothing touched it. It went to sat there. Amen. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Ooh, my God. Hallelujah. Watch ye therefore and pray always. Always. Hallelujah. Watch. So when you go into your chamber and you close the door behind you, you can sit and watch from a window. Yes. Amen. Amen. And what you see, you can pray about. 
Mm. Amen. Amen. That's good, Apostle. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we have these distractions. Thank you, Lord God. See, what we what we would do is we would focus on the wrong things and lose track of what it is that God is trying to do in us or through us. Yes, we would. Because of the distraction. Help us, Lord. Because of the distraction. Thank you, Lord. You see, many of us was, was going down the right road and we were elevating. And, and all of a sudden, that, that man or that woman walked by. And we got in a relationship. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Glory to God. Distraction. Help us, Lord. Distraction. We totally forgot what God was doing. Totally. Through us. Or trying to take out of us. Or put into us. Because our focus was on the female. Or the focus was on the male. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Verse 4. It says, come my people. Mm -hmm. Enter thou into thy chambers and set the door about thee. Hide. Thank you, Jesus. It says hide. Hide. Another word for hide is secrete. This is where we get the word consecrate mm. from. Teach us. Yes, okay. God. Now, the root is secretion, and it's a substance made and released by a living thing. It's like when you're when you're when you're hot, your skin sweats, produces something, mm -hmm. right? So he's telling us to secrete or hide, produce something that is in us to bring it out of us. Amen. Amen. So so that so so as we hide ourselves, that 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 filth that is in us, mm -hmm. we can bring out of us. Yes. As we pray. That's right. As we pray. Amen. Amen. So when you hide, you're you you you're not around a bunch of folks. Mm -hmm. You're not around a bunch of people. No. Because you're hiding. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. Amen. And even when people are looking for you, when you're hiding, you don't say nothing. Like, I'm here. Or hello. Or hi. You right. know, you don't answer no doors, you don't answer no phones. Right. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Uh huh. Thank you. Yeah. Jesus. Uh huh. He said, "Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, for a little moment, a moment, a moment, a short time, a twinkling of an eye, uh, a period." That's good now. A period. A period. A period. A period. A period. A little moment until the indignation, the indignation, the indignation be overpassed. The indignation, the anger, the rage that God has. Because he's going to do something to those that don't want to listen. Thank you, Jesus. You see? It's like I, I've, I've given you a chance. I've given you a chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. Yes. Now I'm, I am a forgiving God. Yes. Yes. But you know, don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. You know, don't 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 do that because you have to. Then you'll see my fury, mm -hmm. and that's what we are about to see. Those that don't want to look at themselves mm -hmm. and get back in position and do the things that God is calling for them to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So he, he says something else. He says overpass. The overpass. So so an overpass is like you have land here, land here, and a freeway. Mm -hmm. Cars going 60, 70 miles an hour. You're not going to walk across that freeway. It's not going to happen. You're going to take an overpass to get to the other side, right? Yes. Okay. So we're dealing with a crossover. Crossover. You see, because the time that we're about to enter into are going to be very trying. 
And the thing that we don't understand or people don't understand is your faith is going to have to increase in order to make it through where we're about to go. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. We can't have them just play play stuff. The Bible says that God has given us all a measure of faith. It's up to us to grow it. And the, uh, the Bible says, count it all joy when you go through various trials and temptations for the testing of your faith. Yes. You see? So some of us don't want to go through nothing. Jesus. And then some of us want to talk about folks that are always going through something. Uh -oh. But you know, the people that are always going through something are the individuals that got faith. Right. Oh, yeah. Amen. Because we got to rely on God. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Glory God. Glory to God. That was Hallelujah. Good. Listen. To God. Revelations 2 and 7 talks about the seven churches. How yes. many overcomers we got in the room? Yes, God. Hallelujah. Overcome. See, Glory that's what he's God. talking about. See, when you go over the overpass, that means you overcame. Yes. You overcome. Yes. Amen. And see, hey, Rebel Sata. Question. Thank you, Jesus. Are you willing to give up everything for God right now? Your house, your car, your, your everything. Everything. You see? Thank you, Jesus. I don't know when, but I'm going to tell you this. When the vaccine comes out. Here, no, here, I'm gonna, I'm, let me back up. Uh, we are in what I like to call the initiation period. Oh. We're all being initiated. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the first thing we were told is to stay in the house. Okay? Now, okay. Next thing they say is put a mask on. Stay six feet apart. Then they say put a mask on all the time. When you go out the door, have a mask on. When you go in a building, you gotta have a mask on. You don't have a mask on, can't go in the building. Right? Mm -hmm. So we go by and by this weekend. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. And, 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 and then you got those that, that are so, uh, this initiation process, I mean, they so into it that they're like, you ain't got a mask, you can't come in my house. No, you know what? Matter of fact, you don't look too well. Let me take your temperature here and throw a thermometer to you. <laughs> right. It's real. They don't they don't want to know no, you don't want to touch it. It's real. You know what I mean? it's real. Oh Lord, no, can't touch that here. Throw it away. Go ahead and keep it. Right. You know, this, this, you know what I'm saying? But so when they say, okay, we got a vaccine. So if you take this vaccine, you don't have to wear a mask no more. They're going to be the first ones to run and get this vaccine. And I'm going to tell you, this vaccine, boy, they got everything in there. It's like a, it's like one of them cocktails. You know, you put a little crack, a little bit of heroin, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a spring light, and shoot it up. That's what they're going to do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and y'all be the first ones in line to get it. The blood. And you know what? Blood of Jesus. Because you have gone through the initiation period and now you a member of their fraternity, uh oh, you get to live this uh what do you call it? New life or new new living, whatever they call it, got the term for call, whatever they call it. The call. Come on here. The, the new what do you call it? Man? They call it something. But uh the new normal. Yeah, the new normal. The new normal. So you can keep your job, <laughs> keep your car, keep your house, yes. all that stuff. You can watch Lena <laughs> Beaver on your TV. Yes. All that stuff, go grab yourself some water and milk out the refrigerator, all that stuff, you know, take a shower, all the stuff that you used to doing. But for all the others, mm -hmm. ain't no job, there ain't no house, there ain't no water. And you know what? Don't try to go to your friend's house because your friend has been initiated into the fraternity. And because you did not get the vaccine, they're going to turn your buddy in. So you know what it says in the Bible? It says that you will not be able to buy nor sell. Uh huh. So that means you will not be able to go to the store and buy some food. You will not be able to go get some gas. So you may as well just go ahead and park the car. See, this is what I did. I was at home last week and I was just looking around. And I said, am I willing to give all of this up for God? Hmm. I mean, we, 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 me and my wife, we done been through hell. Oh, We've been God. through hell. And, and, and we just, you know, we, 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 the enemy sideswiped us and we lost everything. Bless your we was homeless. Jesus. And we just building everything back up. Thank you, Lord. And I'm like, am I willing 
to go through. Yes, God Amen. is faithful. Hallelujah. God. God is faithful. See, see, we 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 quit to say, oh, I'll do it. I'll die for the Lord. But y'all ain't really checking yourself. You really ask yourself that question. Uh oh. You ain't doing it. You know, that's your pride talking. Uh oh. Because when it comes down to it, y'all be the first ones to be like, well, yeah, I said it, but I didn't mean it. I ain't never thought it would happen. But you better ask somebody because this is going to happen. Come on here. But I'm talking about it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Hallelujah. It talks about the great falling away. A great falling away. Yes. When is this going to happen? My belief is when you on the streets with nothing, you ain't ate for a day and a half, and you're going to be like, man, look, God, I love you, but I got to eat. Yeah, all those Christians. Uh oh. You've been going to church for 20, 30 years. Right. Paying the tithe religiously. Still going walking ahead. around with the spirit of religion. Right. Talk about that. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, the believers, we know. We know what's coming up. We're preparing ourselves. Jesus. We fast and we, 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 we get used to not eating. Yeah. Hallelujah. We looked at everything and said, you know, I'm going, I don't care. We, we, we're looking at backpacks and camping gear, fishing poles, because we know what's about to happen. Yeah. We know where we're going to have to go. Uh huh. It said the first, the last will be first, and the first will be last. Yes. Okay. Boy. Now listen to this one. So you know them folks that you walk around on the street, the ones that got the little signs that say "hungry." Yes. Can I have to work for food? Talk about that. And you just look at them and go on about your merry way, uh -oh. all bougie. Bougie. Yeah. Well, you bougie are going to be asking them, "How do I survive out here?" Glory to God. Because I don't know how to survive. Without all my stuff. Right. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me speak this up. Let me speak this up. Yes. That was free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you read that Revelations 2 or 7, please? Yes, and it reads, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Amen. Now that's the church of Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's 18 there's 18 uh, promises Glory to, God. to those that overcome. Mm -hmm. Overcome what? Overcome the suffering that we're going to have to endure. Oh yes! We're going to have to endure it. See, a lot of people are oh, well, we're going to get raptured up before all this. You know, the devil is alive. Mm -hmm. No. If Christ had to suffer, you don't think that you went? Come on, man. Jesus. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Yeah. We're going to have to go through some stuff. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Are you ready for it? Amen. There's promises. Read that next one. Uh, uh, Revelations 2, verse 11, the church of Samaria. He that hath an ear, let him hear. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. It should not be hurt of the second death. Amen. Amen. So what he's saying is, you're not going to have to go through. You're not going to die. You're going to live eternally. Mm. Amen. Church of Samaria. Amen. See, these are promises. God, God is not a God to where he shall lie. Right. Mm -hmm. See, he's given us some promises. Is it going to be hard? Yes, it's going to be hard. Are you going to want to give in? Yes, you're going to want to give in. That's why we must grow our faith. That's why we must grow our faith. We cannot go into this season with that old faith of 2019. Matter of fact, that wasn't even faith. Uh oh. It wasn't even faith yet. You didn't have no trust in God. What was it? You trust it? yourself or you trust in God. Come on we need him. to shift Glory and to begin God. to trust God. Yes. Get your trust off the crack pipe, the alcohol, the sex. The food, Jesus. the wife, the husband, Glory all that God. stuff that you Hallelujah. have faith in and believe in and trust in and put it where it's supposed to be, and that's so price. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and read that uh, uh, verse, uh, chapter 2, verse 17. The church of Pac Pac uh, Parkmos. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna and will give him a white stone, mm -hmm. and the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saying, He that receiveth it. My God. God got a stone 
with a name on it. That the only person that's going to know what it says is the person that receives it. Jesus. That's a promise. Jesus. My God. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you like to get a, 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 a stone from God that got something on that don't nobody else on the planet know about? Jesus. Don't even know what it say. Lord. Everybody be walking up to you. What it say? Knows it. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that. Lord. But if you have to go through some things. Right. You're so Listen, have you, ever, have you ever asked God for something? And you had to go to through hell to get it. But you got it. Come on here. But you got it, right? Hallelujah. Right. But you had to go through hell. Glory like, to damn, that. I didn't know I had to go through all this. Yeah. Right. If you look, you, you, you look at the Israelites, uh, uh, Moses came and said, I'm about to take y'all to a land of milk and honey. Let's go. Right. They were like, oh, okay, let's go. But they didn't know. All the hell they had to do. She's a dynamic. Amen. Amen. Glory. See, See what I'm trying to do, you. people of God, is I'm trying to let you know it's going to be hard. Mm. We're going to go through some stuff. Yes. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. God has some promises for us. Yes. Amen. You're bad. Amen. Come on. Wouldn't you like that rock? Yeah. Oh, my God. Wouldn't you like to not suffer the second life? Mm. Wouldn't you like to eat off the tree of life? My God. Go ahead. What's the next one? 2 and 26. 2 and 26. Revelations 2 and 26. And it reads, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. My God. Look at it. Glory to God. Oh, you, you get a rock that don't nobody know what to say, and you get power to. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my God. God. Go ahead. Go, go to the next one then. Uh, uh, chapter 3 verse 5 chapter three, Revelation Chapter 3 verse 5 and it reads He that overcometh the same Shall be clothed in white remnant And I will not Blot out his name Out of the book of life but I will Confess his name before my father And before his angels Oh my God Glory to God Ooh, Jesus man, have mercy in the triple octopo in a billion dollars Don't you know? Glory on, to God man. I'm saying, can't, I, man, can't no money by that. No. My God. What did the what did the church of Philadelphia say? Chapter 3, verse 12. Chapter 3, verse 12. Glory to God. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my name, my new name, said the Spirit of Grace. My God. Hallelujah. My God. My God. And last but not least, the church of Laodicea, chapter 3, verse 21. Chapter 3, verse 21. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Glory to God. God. Look at that. He said that when I died and rose again, I sat on the right hand side of the Father. Jesus. He said, now, as you die mm -hmm. and, and rise again, he's going to sit on the right side of me. Thank you, Lord. My God. Thank you, Jesus. That's, that, 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 that's an honor. Yes, it is. But, but we're going to have to go through some stuff. Oh, yes. See, can't you tell? By the, the weight of these promises, that the weight of the suffering must be great. Mm -hmm. Must be great. Not corner, but so, 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 so let me let me ask you this. Do you think that your faith that right now, mm -hmm. the faith you have right now, is enough to carry the weight of the suffering to come? Jesus. Mm, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Because you remember our faith is trust in God, not, not yourself. Mm -hmm. Not the government. Mm -hmm. The, the government ain't gonna give you no food stamps for no food now. Uh -oh. You ain't get that vaccine. You know what I'm saying? They, they ain't gonna give you they, they ain't gonna give you a bus pass to get around. Come on, Father. You know what I'm saying? Come on here. You know, you're gonna be on you gonna be on foot. Definitely. And you're gonna be out there with that little string in the lake with a hook on it trying to get a fish. Oh. And hopefully you got a lighter because ain't nobody gonna give you no lighter because you got you got you, you touch that lighter, see. You ain't got the vaccine. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's real. Uh, the boy, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Tell you. Thank you, Those Jesus. are the promises to yes. the overcomers. Yes. Overcomers. See, 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 
See, here at MBKI, we, we, we are overcomers. Yes, we are. Thank we you, Lord. We understand, we understand, we understand. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. And we're preparing our souls, yes, we our are. minds, Hallelujah. and our hearts for it. Glory to God. You see, it's better to be prepared than not. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus is going to come back in the twinkling of an eye like, like, a, like, like, like a, a, a thief. Yes. In the middle of the night. Are y'all going to be ready? Y'all going to be at the club dropping us like it's hot? Help us, God. Read verse 21. We're going to speed this thing up real quick. Hallelujah. That's Isaiah 26, verse 21. Glory to God. There's no 21 and 6 on Isaiah. Isaiah. 6 and 1. Isaiah 26. It's 19, Father. And verse 21. Isaiah 26. This is the last verse of Isaiah chapter 26. Amen. Isaiah 26 and 21. And it reads. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And it reads, glory to God. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Come out of this place. God was coming off the throne. Yes, God. When he when, when it says he uh said to do anything remarkable, when God is about to do a, a remarkable thing upon the earth. Yes. He is said to come out of his place and come down thither. If you if you read uh uh that Malachi or Micah, Micah chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 3. Micah chapter 1, verse 3. Mm -hmm. And it reads, chapter 1, verse 3. Mm -hmm. It says, For behold, the Lord cometh forth out of his place and will come down. And tread upon the high places of the earth. Amen. Amen. So, so if you read, he he when he's about to do something miraculous, uh -huh. it says that he comes out of his place and comes down uh -huh. to the earth. He comes down to the earth, uh -huh. especially in the exhaustion of his power and justice in a way of punishment. Of sin. Yes. In a way of punishment. Glory to God. Of sin. It speaks of, uh, let's see, where was that at? The inhabitants. Thank you, also. Jesus. Let me see. Yeah. Thank you, Lord God. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place of punishment the inhabitants of the earth of their iniquities uh -huh. and uh, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall uh, no more cover her sins. Yes. So it's, it, it's, 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 it's speaking of like violent crimes. Yes. Violent crimes. So if, if you see somebody that, that did a violent crime like, 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 like cut off everybody, cut off a people's arms and legs and a violent crime uh, of cruelty, uh, uh, the, the, the judgment or the penalty is very harsh, very harsh, okay? So crimes of cruelty and oppression, God will bring into judgment as he comes off of his throne, amen? amen. Is what it's saying here. The exact punishment will fit the crime. God is not a God that's going to put more on the on the sentence uh -huh. than what the crime is worth. You're not like you're not like the government uh, 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 of the earth. Amen. Right. Amen. Glory be to God. One the the 
that you know for this sector of people this is what you get but for this sector this is what they get no with God if you don't it don't matter what color creed it don't matter how much money you got it don't matter right you know it, it is what it is amen amen all the blood which they have shed for their gratification of the lust of power and ambition who shall live when he doeth such a thing what is he saying glad you asked all of us in some way shape or form have gone after power have gone after money yes. have gone after things in a very violent way yes if you look individuals that have uh, uh, the Bill Gates and the Donald Trumps, you know, that have eaten up all the little people to get so big, have to, to, to do some shiesty stuff, you know, to put some people out of business. Some cruel stuff to put some people out of business. To get what? More money. Yes. To get what? More power. Not to get more God, you see. Even with uh, leaders uh, of clergy in this uh, COVID, you have organizations that have billions. The Baptist organization, coaching organization, mm. all these organizations. Yes. Right? But ain't nobody giving up no money. Uh oh. They ain't giving up no money. Right. You know, they're they trying to plan their next revival on Zoom to get your money. Right. Go on to hell. Come on here. Come on now. Jesus. Come on now. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, we bless you. Listen. Thank you, Jesus. God wants to revive his children, mm -hmm. his creation. He does not want to see one go to hell. Amen. It was up to him. But we have a freedom of choice. Yes. And we say we want to go to heaven, but we are living like we want to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We have power given to us by Christ. Mm -hmm. Those that have his spirit within them. See, there's a lot of folks walking around saying they got the Holy Ghost. Mm. Ain't got the Holy Ghost. Talk about that. They got a ghost. They got a ghost. But it ain't ghost. They ain't the Holy Ghost. Amen. Come on, Apostle. That was Hallelujah. good now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> he wants to revive us. He wants to Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. preserve us. Thank you, Jesus. And he wants to uh, tear apart or uh, bring destruction to those that just don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, you know, you, 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 being a parent, you know, you tell your child, now the next time you do that, I'm going to whip your butt. Right. And they do it again, and you say, you know what, I'm going to give you another chance. I'm going to whip your butt, and they do it again. I'm, I'm going to give you another chance. Yes. When, 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 enough is when enough. You, you see, the more chances you give them, the more spoiled the more, oh, he ain't gonna do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I ain't gonna get with this, that. You know, that's how he is. God is God's mercy and his grace is sufficient. Uh, I mean, it's a great thing. But why do we take advantage of it? I mean, we, he'd be like, I know if I go with Johnny's house, he's gonna wanna have sex. And I'm a Christian. But I love Johnny. And if I don't do it, he's gonna leave me. Right. So, you mean you love Johnny more than you love God? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. So it's tied. It's tied. And vice versa. Yes. Vice versa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to close with this. If you can read that, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20 through 20, 22. Okay. Somebody hold it. Glory to God. Revelation 3 from chapter 20. Down to 22. Mm 
Glory to God. Number 22. Come on, read it. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Amen. Mm. Chapter 3, verse 20 through 22. Revelations, mm -hmm. chapter 3. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open <coughs> the blood, and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. Amen. Amen. Listen, people. Bless you, Jesus. Christ is standing at the door of your heart. And he's knocking. Are you going to let him in? I mean, I mean, seriously. Seriously. This is not a time or season to play. He's knocking, standing outside of the door, waiting for you to answer. He's calling your name. Hallelujah. He'll wake you up. Thank you, Jesus. So that you can come and open the door and allow him to come in so we can suck with him. He says in verse 21, anyone who wins, everyone who wins the victory will sit with me on my throne. Everyone who wins, are you winning? Are you winning the fight of faith? Are you winning? If you have ears to hear, listen to what the Spirit is saying to the church. And guess what? The church is you. We're not talking about you. We're talking about you. Are you listening? Are you listening? Thank you, Jesus. Are you listening? People on Facebook, are you listening? Listen. If you're listening and you hear the voice of God knocking, say this prayer with me. Father, forgive me. I have been disobedient. I've been living a life that is not conducive to your will. Call myself a believer, a Christian, but I have not been living a life for you. I repent right now. I turn from my wicked ways, and I'm coming back to you. Teach me how to live, Lord. Teach me how to live, and I will live the rest of my days for you. Said that. Welcome back to the game. He loves you. He loves us all. Thank you for joining us. Yes, hallelujah. Please.